they're like, this is audio only. Don't turn your camera on. It's yeah. right. Yeah. It's great. I love She's oh, great. She was very nice. So yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. And uh, once again, Menace got super high. Vape, right? Yes. That's your Shout thing. Shout out to High 90s. Uh, thing is Mountain High. Mountain High. Or something like that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's delightful. And how did we find this person? Because uh, this was an email I got. This is a slam dunk. This I mean, how a- could it go wrong? I haven't even heard the audio yet, but uh, Seabass has been telling us like, man, high menace and like a uh, an animal medium. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Yeah, that's like it's, it's not serious, you know. It's, Match it's, it's, it's a lady who yeah. believes who's a psychopath and thinks she can talk no. to animals. Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah. hold on. Yeah, so but I don't yeah, like was, that. This was an email. Hey, you want to talk to an animal psychic? I'm like, I know who does. Yeah, I do. Little buddy here. <laughs> yeah, he does. Fun. Yeah, so Menace got uh, super high and had a conversation with this woman. Now, does it have to be? Does it? Could, like in other words, if I brought my dog and who's very much alive, could yeah. could I sit there with her and ask her like what the dog is thinking or? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. Her you know, name is Susan. Have Allen. her translate for me. You can find her work yeah. at Susan Allen Medium. And what you would be looking for in that in that case, Woody, you'd be looking for an animal soul speak session. Where you bring wow. out, she does, and she does animals that have passed on to the great beyond. What do they call it's it? Like a miracle, the rainbow, the rainbow bridge, bridge, bridge. Yeah. 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 to the farm. Like, now, if it. you would bring in, hopefully, you don't have to be in person, but it's good if you can bring your animal in person. Uh, uh, Fifty minutes with Susan Allen will run you only four hundred fifty dollars. All right, Whoa. how awesome. long? Deal. That's fifty minutes. I mean, fifty but, minutes. But okay, be, it's yeah. priceless to be able to talk. Right, to her, she's literally your talking. Previous yeah, uh-huh. talking to your animal. Yeah, yeah. Or your current pet in this I, case. Four hundred fifty mm-hmm. grand. Sign me up. But yeah. she does. She does. She does animals. She does people. And this actually, it's one question from a very high menace. And now, before we get into the actual clips here, now, Greg, before we hear a peep out of her, yes, you very much miss your dog Rex. Yeah, a hundred percent. So think about him every day. Is this something that you would do? No, like the, you okay? You wouldn't, no. even though you oh, believe in ghosts yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like you wouldn't. Are, well, ghosts are real, but this is just <laughs> laughable. So Why? Do you think it's possible that Rex is a ghost somewhere? Uh, I think like, uh, I think it's possible. Ghost dog. Rex has been reincarnated into my current dog. Okay. Are you not okay. so really? similar? Do you not want to speak to Rex through your no. current dog? You wouldn't be willing to give it like a try. Am I not worth four hundred fifty, Robert? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you so cheap, Greg? <laughs> no, I, you I, not I, love I me? No, because what is she going to say? Like, oh, okay. He misses you too. He's I didn't know because just the ghost say, thing. I didn't oh, know. Okay. No, okay. She'll, okay. she'll just say all the stuff that you want to hear. Yeah. All right. All right. So <laughs> doesn't love his dog. Okay. So this goes it. into Menace's first high question is about what what does what does Susan need? Like just a photo and oh. you know things like that. I don't so remember she, this. Yeah. Good well, question. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be helpful for Menace because I doubt he, <laughs> just listening to this. I doubt he remembers very much of this. So right. I um on the when you're speaking <laughs> to animals, is there um, did you have to <laughs> meet, meet the animal? Wait, no. Do I have to see the animal? No, no. no. Um, okay. well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, menace. Uh, Usually he ramps up like he. Yeah. And by the way, this is cut down. It reminds me of that kid <laughs> in that viral video that you know the one when have you ever wanted? The, the, yeah. Have you? I wanted with, with uh-huh. wish. I'm just gathering my was, thoughts out loud. My bad. No, I'm saying, but I know your I know your <laughs> mo going into these things. Like yeah. you, you know, you start obviously when the when the end, but like by the end of it, you're really baked. Yeah. But so this I'm sounds like, like this one. You I, went into it really baked. I'm vaping the entire time. Yeah, but at this point, like, what were you at? Like on a scale of one to ten, like how baked were you? <sighs> sounds like an eight uh, or a nine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do you do you have to get a visual of the animal before? So I like looking at pictures and I like looking through the eyes. So that's the short answer. The long answer is I can see in the spirit world, the animal, they know my frequency at the moment. Uh-huh. They'll, they'll give me an image. Oh. Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> this is when you talk. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm here. Sweet. sweet. <laughs> I'm really here. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, okay, so Susan, uh, part of what gets men so high is with, we, we find with all these interviews that we get pitched, they will go on and on and on. And <laughs> so she probably did a 10 minutes of her whole background <laughs> about how she, when she was a little girl, she, like her dad would bring her to this barn and she, as a little girl, would talk to the horsey and the yeah. horsey would talk to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she, at some point, didn't realize that, oh, this isn't really happening oh. and just kind of continued her whole Allegedly. life. Allegedly. Well, now- here, but she was never like, oh, am I, is this really happening? Until a friend of a friend of a friend was a horse trainer, and, and she was 
telling people she could talk to horses. Mm. And they're like, okay, crazy lady, come talk to our horse that's racing because it's right. not doing well. So Susan yeah, shows up. what's going on. Yeah, Susan mm-hmm. shows up to the horse track to talk to this horse and see what the deal is. Her husband was a horse trainer. They asked if I could come down and talk to this horse that just wasn't winning. Mm-hmm. And I said, why aren't you winning? And she said, because I'm just a number to him. And I'm like one of so many he trains. And I'm like, I don't think that's true because they contacted me just to talk to you. So I think you really are important to them. The reading ended. It was just like a few minutes. I didn't tell them anything, but I went and um, I bet on her. Nice. <laughs> and she placed. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. And then I, I think we have to track every day. <laughs> yeah, just talking to the horses. Yeah, right. be awesome. That's the one thing people always bring up with psychics, and psychics never have a good answer never. for it. Is what? if you can read the future, talk to the pet, you know, yeah. or, or, or talk to a horse and find out if uh-huh. it's feeling well or yeah, feeling dude, not you, feeling you well. Know yeah, better. you have but, the real life sports almanac. Yeah, she right? did though. She talked to the horse, and then she put money on the horse. What money? And then and won money. It said, "Nope, I'm done." Right. I'm not doing that again. No, no. To, who, who needs free money? And also, like, if you're getting paid by the trainers or whatever, why wouldn't you tell them anything? Well, here's the thing is that mm-hmm. wasn't she wasn't that was still an amateur reading. Yeah, uh, that was her. She was oh, she's discovering she her power. Oh. But, when, but when this happened, that's when yeah. she said, okay. oh, my God, I do have a power to talk okay. to her again. Yeah. If anybody in my life said, hey, I can go talk to you. We can talk to my horse. No, yeah. like he'll, they'll tell me things. Right. Yeah. Like it's in awesome. your head? I would never talk to them. The person would be out of my <laughs> oh, life. No, you'd call See? some authority. Yeah, Close-minded, the, 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 the guy with the giant butterfly net shows up yeah. and you go away. <laughs> All right. So this is Menace's higher education, meaning that he got really high smoking the weed vape. And mm-hmm. then he was talking to this lady who is uh, an animal medium. So this mm-hmm. next question, I think, is actually a pretty decent question that a lot of people, folks have for psychics is, well, if you can talk to the dead, animals and people or whatever, mm. then I guess death really isn't a bad thing, right? Oh, man. I so Oh, do you know what question I've actually never, never asked a medium? Do mediums get sad when people pass away? Well, think- it's, it's a good story. You know, I'm just checking in with my brother that crossed into the spirit world in October. He hit his head and got a brain injury. Oh and my when God. I, that scares I, me because I'm not even joking. I do that a lot. You fall down and hit your head. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Well, I don't think. I think you're going to be okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. Yeah. But I, you know, I was just thinking, like, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, to this point, everything's oh making a lot God. more sense to her. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But I, I, I was thinking, it was like, if you can talk to people in the afterlife constantly, then right. yeah, death might not be a no big deal. There's no such thing as death. Yeah. And it sounds like, but no, man, I was just telling yeah, the like truth. you can hit up grandma anytime. Yeah. yeah. Rule. And I do hit my head a lot. So yes. I'm not right. lying. And again, remember, <laughs> menace vaping hard on the weed. So she, this again, this is Susan Allen, psychic medium to the, to the pets and the, the dead people. Yep. And she's going on about some garbage or whatever. And uh, Menace, I think, hit the weed a little too hard here. <laughs> All right. so they're so connected to you no matter where you go. I mean, I remember when Billy Corrigan called me and I was on the phone with him and he's about to leave and he doesn't want to leave his cat. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that cat's going with you. You know, <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. it's going wherever you go. Yeah. I love Billy. Isn't he great? Yeah, he loves wrestling. <laughs> Does he? Oh, yeah, he's big time wrestling guy. Nicest people in the world. Just yeah. gentle and very down to earth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love Billy. I love I Billy. I love Billy. <laughs> Billy's the best. Are like, I like chicken. <laughs> like, yeah. That's a classic throwback now that yeah, I like yeah, chicken, yeah. but. Right. Well, here, yeah. here's the one I was thinking of. Menace hitting the weed vape here. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. I find that the spirit world brings me the people that are supposed to be read by me. And the spirit world... <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I'm not. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what happened? Sorry, oh, laughing. Uh, uh, yeah. You okay? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. That's okay. Oh my God. As you were saying, she is so she is so patient with you, dude. Yeah. She's so nice. Yeah. Woody, can you play the start of that again? Yeah. yeah. Spirits, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Sure can. Yeah. I find that the spirit world brings me the people that are supposed to be read by me. And the spirit world... <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? What? I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. sorry. What happened? <laughs> oh. 
Sorry, coughing. Yes. Sorry, coughing. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I ruled. I'm always, oh, when, I set so these, when I set these interviews up, I'm always very, like, this is audio only. Don't turn your camera on. It's, yeah. Right. Yeah. it's great. I love, she's oh, great. She was very nice. So yeah. Uh, all right, so this is higher education. Oh, As you can hear, Menace is very high. Yeah. He's talking to this woman who's an animal medium. She claims that she could talk to your dead pets or, uh -huh. you know, maybe be a oh. horse whisperer or a turtle so whisperer. What a kind of pet you've got. Uh -huh. uh, Menace is asking her all these questions. <laughs> and and we're Greg, learning so much. Right, and oh. Greg is the only one on the show who really has had some ghost experience. So Man Menace is going to ask Susan about Greg's ghost all experience. Right. And I think, Greg, you I don't remember these some of these details. I think Menace, in his high state, may be uh, embellishing a little okay. bit. Oh, okay. okay. So I have a co-worker named Greg, and he believed that there was a spirit in his previous home named Elmer. Now, what people didn't know publicly that Greg and Elmer were lovers. Because <laughs> check this out. You want some tea about this relationship? Sure. Greg got an Elmer tattoo after only dating each other for a week. I think maybe he knew. Like he knew it was a soul relationship. Well, yeah, unfortunately, Elmer yeah, died of um of what? Meth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you uh, okay. like melded two things that are not related, yeah. but they actually are true. Yeah. <laughs> Greg did have a ghost. He did date a guy. Yeah. Right. But not the guy's, related. Yeah, yeah, the guy's name is not Elmer. Right. Elmer was the name of the ghost Tattoo that haunted real. Greg. Yeah. Meth real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. The meth part was yeah. real. But the, the ghost effing, not real. Yeah, tattoo yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot good. about that. All right, yeah. so Menace is higher education. Oh, and uh, Menace is a high interviewer. Sometimes we'll let inside jokes from the show bleed into his interview. Nice. Oh. Like, and so let's say we're talking about World War II, right. uh -huh. a.k.a. World War Eleven, which yeah. Woody read on a paper some years ago yep. as World War Two, not World War Two, World War XI. <laughs> Didn't even yeah. trip him up, just so kept stupid. going. So let's see if uh, Menace can weave that into his interview. Right. Um, my dad was in World War Two. He was in Normandy. and uh, Wait, hold on. Have you heard of World War Eleven? <laughs> no. <laughs> Neither have I. But somebody <laughs> said World War Eleven on the radio when they met World War Two. Oh, geez. This is and, the world we're in. Yeah, and it was, but yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> poor thing. I yeah. Know. yeah, yeah, poor me. Poor oh, thing. that's so yeah. funny. She's <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah. Have you heard of World War I? She's like, hold on. <laughs> like, am I? Uh, you're telling her oh, the story. Yeah. And yeah. she's trying to like humor you. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, we got yeah. time for uh, for one more clip. Let's wrap right. it up. This is Menace's higher education, the animal medium. Again, Susan Allen is her yeah. name. Yeah, Menace wants nice. she wants yeah. to give well, get one final message from Susan. Yeah. All right. And is there anything else that you would like to uh, talk about that we might have missed? No, I just want to tell everybody that love, as you know, is the mm. highest vibration. What is vibration? So think of things you love and think of people in the spiritual world that you love, because when you feel love, you're raising your entire vibration. Yuck. And that's kind of where we have to be right now is staying positive and keeping our vibration high. Oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I do. All right. Well, Shout there we go. This is higher education. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Shout she was, to vibrations. She was. Yeah. Uh, she was very sweet. Did she have like a website or anything? SusanAllenMedium.com. Yeah. Uh, right. You don't need four hundred fifty dollars necessarily. She does group readings for like one hundred fifty. Oh, wow. okay. Show up with a po photo of your dog. Okay. And she'll get all the dead pets together. That was That's cool. So good. Yeah. I loved yeah. it. All right. Uh, thank you, Menace. Thank no, you, Seabass. More Woody shows next. Hang on.